Hi, this is Chiranjeevi. This question appeared in December 19, 2016, CSIR net. The question is, the major product formed in the following reaction is, okay, we have the reactant here, and on photochemical conditions, and on H3O+. So what will be the product in the given four choices? Okay, we should find it. So if you observe this reaction, this uh, problem, so this is an example of bottom reaction. Okay, and if you observe the mechanism of a uh, bottom reaction, so in this, I'm giving generalized generalized ex, uh, mechanism of bottom reaction. Okay, and this is uh, this compound. So you hear alpha, beta, gamma, delta. In bottom reaction, the delta hydrogens must be present in the reactant. Then only bottom mechanism is possible, and bottom reaction is possible. Okay, and this is on photochemical conditions. So here is uh, through the radical formation, the mechanism. Pass mechanism is possible for the bottom reaction. Okay, and here is a formation of uh, radicals, oxygen radical, and no radical. Okay, and further, so breaking of hydrogen bond here with the radicals, and this is through the transfer of hydrogen radical and to the axis in here and formation of radical here and we'll get OH here okay and this further reacts with NO radical and here is the formation of bond between here So this is the a compound we get in bottom reaction, and this is on different conditions. If you if you take a water H3O plus SD conditions, and we can get ketonic functional group on here. So this is a bottom reaction, and if you observe this mechanism for the given problem. Okay. So here, this is alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and we have other choices. Alpha, beta, gamma, and delta, and we have other chances. Alpha, beta, gamma, delta. So we have different choices of uh, delta hydrogens to form two possible bottom mechanism in this reaction conditions, and we have different chances. But here you should observe the stereochemistry of this reactant. So here the functional O N O group is below below of the plane of this uh, ring, a six-membered ring. And if you observe for this delta hydrogens. And this is this function of this group is upward to the six membered ring. So, uh, O and O, the functional group is below of the ring, six membered ring, and this delta hydrogens of this this one uh, is upward of the plane. So, here, here is not possible to transfer radical hydrogens onto oxygen and NO to uh, this one. Okay, so it is here, it is not possible here. Uh, for the bot uh, here bottom mechanism and if you observe and uh, this one so this functional O and O is below of the plane and the delta hydrogens are on the plane so it is also not uh, possible and if you observe these delta hydrogens uh, the O and O functional group is below of the reactant and uh, this delta hydrogens are also below of the 
uh, below of this ring so here is a chance to form bottom mechanism because these two functional groups and uh, the delta hydrogens of here this ring and uh, o and o of this ring are in same side below of the plane hence here is a possibility of a bottom mechanism then so if you go through it so here is the breaking of free radicals formation of free radicals and the breaking of this bond and then so we have oxygen radical and no radical here and then the delta these delta hydrogens breaks here by the free radicals and here is the formation of hydrogen radical and this hydrogen radical shifted onto the oxygen then next is a formation of OH and then due to the breakage of this uh, free radical bo bond and we have free radical here radical here I am this on further reacting with NO radical adding up adding at here and then we can get OH information of n o okay and uh, this on further so breaking of hydrogen one here and shifting of electrons because uh, more electron eighty watt um, oxygen so shifting of electrons on oxygen and this hydrogen shifted into the oxygen we can get So here is a double bond with nitrogen and we get OH and this on further H3O plus means H plus so this H plus the lone pair electrons on nitrogen reacts with H plus and then we get So H on high nitrogen and it gets positive charge. Okay, and this one further OH minus ions which are present in the water reacts with reacts here and shifting of this double bond on to the nitrogen will get NH OH and OH here so this one further shifting of breaking of this bond and the when this and this bond breaks here the bond comes on nitrogen and this hydrogen shifted onto the nitrogen because here nitrogen getting partially negative charge so this H plus ion shifting onto the nitrogen okay and then here is a formation of ketonic functional group so by the loss of NH2OH so this is the final product so and if you observe this final product in the options, so first one is the right answer. Thank you.